And now it's time for a musical interlude, or a Pokemon battle, same thing really. So I lead with a Mew against a battle with Logan, or hands off my waffles I'm guessing, I can't remember, there's so many Logans in my life, I mean there's like a whole two on the entire internet, so I can't remember which difference between the ones and stuff. So he taunts, which is obvious, because you know, Arafoon goes for the taunts, and it's like, ooh, Arafoon. And then I decided to bring back my Mew and go out to Latias, which for some reason I nicknamed my Mew and didn't nickname my Latias, which makes a whole lot of sense. Thank you, Logic, because you can actually catch Latias in the English games, so of course it should be able to be nicknamed. Anyways, this guy goes for a Leech Seed, and it's like, oh my goodness, I'm being a sub -seeder. it's so original and stuff, because everybody uses this set. And I decided to Dragon Pulse, and had I gone for a Draco Meteor, this Erufoon, Erufoon would be dead. And thus it keeps getting health back with its stupidity, and by stupidity I mean brilliance, and by brilliance I mean whatever, because everybody uses it. So he goes out to an Empoleon now, because Empoleon is a pretty good taker of the dragon movies. Because, you know, dragon movies are very hard to watch, especially when they're starring Latios. And thus he bounces around and says, Haha, I'm able to take your dragon movie, and I will too soon be flying in the air and killing you. But, of course... Since we are both unnicknamed, my Latias must get out of there, and I must ask him if he wants any tea, and how much sugar he would like, one lump or two. So he sets up some stealth rocks, and I'm just like, well, nothing I can do about that. And he's just going to sit there being a penguin, because he is a penguin. I mean, that's pretty obvious, it's not like I have to come up with something. So now he brings out a Gliscor, and Gliscor is going to try and get some points, but he's not going to be able to, because I'm going to punch his drain pipes. So regardless of the fact, Gliscor is just going to sit in there and be like, whatever. So I decided to bring back out my Mew because I figured it'd probably be a good thing to do because that's just what I'm thinking in my head at the time anyway. So he goes for a Toxic and thankfully, thanks to 5th generation's ability to have 5th generation abilities, since I have Synchronize, he's going to get Toxic Poison instead of Normal Poison because that's just better that way. Life is better when you can poison people just by synchronized swimming. Anyways, we both get hurt by poison because none of us have poison heal. I was thinking he might have poison heal, but thankfully he doesn't. And I'm just going to go for a shadow ball, figuring he's probably not going to be able to do too much to me. And of course, he goes for the taunt, but I figured I'd be slower because I was thinking I had a different set on this thing. Apparently not. So, I'm just going to stay in and keep going for attacks, but of course he's going to be able to predict that because it's so obvious. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it? Yeah. Schnizzle. I haven't narrated in a while. I think you can tell. So, Logan withdraws and he goes out to his Sazandora! Sazandor! Sazandor! And I just go for a Shadow Ball because it's the only thing I have. Because Psychic doesn't hit Dark types. And, um, yeah, Shadow Ball can be a little better at times. Hey, in last generation, Mewtwo didn't run any psychic moves. So now I bring back out under my boots. He's back, and he's ready to kick some butt. Maybe, possibly, again. And he goes for a cheer up. He's trying to cheer himself up because he knows he's going to get killed by my next attack. Because Kobalon is pretty cool. At least that's the impression I'm getting. So I go for a sacred sword because all goats have sacred swords that they can pierce the heavens with. And thus, the lightning on my chin, well not really my chin, the top of my eyebrows, whatever. So now he goes out to his steel Pokemon, oops, steel, yes, this steel Pokemon, Machamp's a steel type now. And he subs down because I know he can't sub up. And he also can't do too much else to me. And I was figuring maybe I'd get a flinch, but you know, luck. Pfft, luck. So I go for another Iron Head. And that's going to take out his sub because my champ is not very strong. As you can see, it's quite weak. Those are inflatable arms that are not really his. So he's going to finish me off the dynamic punch. That's just because, you know, no guard kind of sucks sometimes. But whatever. It works for him. And, uh, I. I don't know. I. I'm. So now I bring out my Darmanitan and, um,. Thanks to its English name being revealed, my nickname isn't funny anymore. So I decided to just flare blitz him. Flare blitz him. 
and it's going to take him out because Darmanitan is super strong. So he brings back he brings out his fire monkey thing, and I'm like, please, man, you can't do jack to. M and he's scarfed too. And I accidentally hit the back button on my versus recorder, so we're going to go back a turn and see the same thing that happened again. Except this time, it's going to be turned to black because I have to go forward again. Yeah, you know, I probably could have edited this out, but pfft, editing, that requires effort, you know? Especially since I haven't narrated in a while. So he's going to go for a close combat, and I'm thinking, pfft, you can't kill me, but unfortunately he's a scarfed monkey too, so he can kill me. And thus, my Darmanitan is no more. So now I bring out my Latias. And for whatever reason, it's not nicknamed. I don't know why. It's supposed to be nicknamed Red Handed because it's a suspect. Oh, oh. And now he brings out his Empoleon because he can protect stuff. Even though I have Thunderbolt on this, and Thunderbolt would probably do just slightly less than Dragon Pulse with Stab. But you knew that. So his Empoleon is just going to sit there walling me for a couple of days, nights, and weeks. And I'm just going to go out to my Mew just in case he wants to do something stupid. And by stupid, I mean, like, you know, try to poison me, but he roars! Because he wants to scout my team, even though he saw it before the battle began. And now he brings out my Surusuken. Because Pokejin sucks and nicknames all your Pokemon their Japanese names for some reason. So, Surusuken is going to go for a brick break on the Empoleon because it wants to break its bricks. Empoleon has a lot of bricks that it wants to have broken. And he's going to roar me out into my one lumper too, because I want to give him some tea. And I'm going to change my accent randomly. Hello, it's Dimitri. Anyways, I'm going to have some lefties, because you can't have righties when you're using a Ropushin. Or should I say something that's probably not its English name. Anyway, Empoleon's going to go down to a mock punch, because, you know, Empoleon can't stand the wrath of Speed Racer and his Mach 5. So he goes out to his Gliscor because he thinks he's cool like that. And I go out to my Mew because I think I'm cool like that. And he is going to Earthquake because he can't afford a real beer. And um, now I'm just going to keep going for Shadow Ball and stuff and he'll predict me and go out to something probably, who knows, we'll have to find out. I haven't watched this battle in a while even though I've already narrated it once before and I was quite happy with the results but Unfortunately, my computer was not, and the audio was all in sync. So, now that we're talking about drains and pipes and whatnot, I decided to set up my Stealth Rock, because Stealth Rock is the best move in the game. And he's going to finish me off with an Earthquake, because that's just what Gliscor does, because he actually has the attacking prowess to take out my Mew, because my Mew is actually just fast and whatnot. Anyway, Gliscor is going to poison himself. And I'm going to bring out my Latias at once again, because it is the best thing in the times of stuff. So I'm going to trick him into a choice scarf, because he shall have a choice to be the choice. I don't know. He's going to toxic me, because I'm a stupid person who doesn't just go for Dragon Pulse, because his Empoleon is dead. And nothing on his team resists Dragon Pulse left stuff, yeah. So I'm going to be hurt by Poison, because... That generally happens in this game. You get the poison status, you get hurt by poison. So I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor and miss because that just happens to be what Draco Meteor does this generation. It misses all the time. But it does not matter because Latios is a crazy dancing fool and she will be able to redeem herself with another move. So I go for a Dragon Pulse, which won't miss because Sand isn't up. And thus Gliscor dies into a white hole where it can write its epithet and be all whatever. So now my Latias is going to be at 100 health or 108 health, I can't really tell because my video is almost up looking. And now he goes out to his Adafoon, and it's going to go for Leech Seed because that's just what it does with this mischievous heart. It can leech you with seeds and I'll hit Draco Meteor for once in my life. But it's not going to matter much at all, because I just go for that since I know I'm going to be dying in a couple of turns, because Latios is unable to support itself in these rough times of the economy. And thus, Latios is going to fall into debt, and then she will have her house foreclosed on. So now, out comes the Infernape, and since it is scarfed, it's going to outspeed me, and it's going to go for a close combat. Now then, in my head I was thinking, hmm... 
I can kill him off with my priority mock punch in Robushin, and I can just go out to Zruzikin to make him get to minus two defense, because, you know, Infernape, that's just what happens. And since Zruzikin is such a freaking monster, it is going to be able to live this close combat and retaliate with a brick break, and that will be... Shall I say it? Can I say it, Shark Tamer? Will you kill me? The game! So yeah, Infernape dies. And that was a very fun game, Logan, despite the fact that um, stuff happened. And I'm going to die from Life Orb Recoil, so 1-0, which is fine by me. So yeah, thanks for watching or something like that, I don't know. What do you people expect from me? I'm not a god!